Spilled salt over your left shoulder. Keep rosemary by your garden gate. Plant lavender for luck. And fall in love whenever you can. So guys, y'all see, don't that look super, super delicious? So normally your girl is not really into the pumpkin spice type of thing. But guess what? I'm going to be trying to say, I've been trying to step out of my comfort zone just a little bit, y'all. I have been kind of feeling the fall weather a little bit. At first, I didn't really care about fall. But today we're going to be trying our pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls. I know how I feel about pumpkin spice and all that type of stuff, y'all. But we about to be trying this today. Let's get straight into this video. So, y'all, we're going to start off by frying up some bacon. I'm going to cook this bacon because I don't want it to go bad. You can't eat it like that, Lil. Y'all, so I'm going to go ahead on and fry down my bacon. Y'all, I want to try to comment down below and let your girl know if y'all like pork bacon, if y'all like turkey bacon. And if you do like pork bacon, do you like the regular hickory smoke or do you like the maple? I can't stand maple bacon and maple sausage, y'all. I do not like it. It do not taste good to me. I don't know. I just don't like sweet meat like that. I feel like the only meat that's supposed to be sweet is Chinese chicken. That's it. So y'all, I'm gonna go ahead on and turn my bacon on low and let that cook, you know, kind of slow so it can get pretty crispy. And then we're gonna go ahead on and start on our cinnamon rolls, y'all. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. Every time I used to cook bacon, I used to burn the bacon and I did not know why. And come to find out, just as always, I had a fire too high. So y'all, I used to always have a fire super de duper high, like everything. I still had a fire high on everything. Girl, I'm saying, why you got that fire so high? I always have the fire high all the time. Like when I'm cooking, I'm hungry and I'm ready to eat and I need you to cook. I really know how to cook on fast temp, but it just never worked with the bacon. You literally have to have that bacon set to a certain temperature so it don't burn. It will burn on you, y'all. So as I told y'all, I have these pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls. And then I have my floss right here. So you would not taste the mint on here. This one right here is literally unflavored anyway. So if you can find the unflavored, it's fine. But I also heard them say that even if you get the minty kind, you still won't taste no mint on your cinnamon rolls. I don't know how true it is, y'all. I didn't want to go by that, so I got unflavored because I'm not trying to have no minty pineapple spice cinnamon rolls, okay? I'm going to be pissed if I have mint on my cinnamon rolls so i'm gonna go ahead on and cut this open so they only have five cinnamon rolls in here so if you have more than five people in your house make sure that you get an extra pack because these are the big grand cinnamon rolls the grand ones is the big ones so y'all know when you get cinnamon rolls they have the super big ones and they have the small ones these are the super big ones so i'm gonna bring you guys in just a little bit closer so y'all can see exactly how I'm gonna do my cinnamon rolls. So first we're gonna take our cinnamon rolls and we're gonna split them apart. Okay, hold on y'all. I need to grease my pan. With us a little oil in our pan and then we're gonna go ahead on and grease the bottom because guess what, we ain't trying to have, we ain't trying to go through all this for our cinnamon rolls to be sticking to the bottom of the pan because y'all know what's gonna happen. That's gonna me off. So go ahead, do that, grease it on up. And then I think I'm just gonna do one at a time. All right, y'all. So I finally got them all tied up. And now I'm going to go ahead on and put them in the oven on 350 degrees. I don't know for how long, y'all, because I normally just watch it. Turn my bacon one more time because it looks like it's almost getting there, y'all. I'm just trying to slow cook it so they could kind of stay hot while my cinnamon rolls get done. Now while my bacon getting crispy on the other side, I'm gonna go ahead on and start making my eggs. I'm gonna give me out a bowl. 
So it's just me and Lil today. So I'm probably gonna do about Lil Love eggs. So I'm probably gonna do about five eggs. Comment down below and let me know if y'all use milk in y'all eggs. If y'all haven't, y'all need to try it. I don't like pepper in my eggs. Comment down below and let me know if y'all like pepper in your eggs. I do not like black pepper in my eggs. I only like just a little bit of salt. And then once I do that, I just mix it on up and then I fry it up. That's it. People literally drown the eggs in black pepper. I be like, ah. I just feel like black pepper give your food a little spicy. I don't want no spicy eggs. Like, uh-uh. I -uh. to give me a little paper towel out because my bacon look like it's nice and crispy now. Take out the grease to be a little flimsy, and once it start cooling off, that might get nice and crispy. You just why you put it on that paper towel, let that paper towel soak up that grease, and you're gonna have you some nice crispy bacon. So I'm trying to decide if I want to keep my bacon grease and fry my eggs in, or if I want to make some new oil. I think I'm gonna put that on and just keep my bacon grease. Y'all, comment down below if y'all think that bacon grease just be busting. Bacon grease is the best grease hands down. That grease be busting. I'm not going to even lie down. Only thing about the bacon grease, y'all, when you fry your eggs in the bacon grease, it do make your eggs a little brown. But guess what? Them must be busting. And I'm going to turn my fire up a little higher for my eggs because I like to cook my eggs super duper fast. I'm going to bring y'all in a little closer so y'all can see me cook my eggs. So y'all going to see that my eggs are a little brown. That's because of the bacon grease. But who cares? I want that taste on them. Cause that be busting y'all i'm not gonna even lie i need a real spatula for my eggs because i need to get down at the bottom and this spatula is much harder than that other one that other one too soft it's not getting at the bottom And then we have two pieces of bacon a piece so guys i'm about to check on the cinnamon rolls i don't think we have that much longer left yeah so y'all these are starting to look like a Like, yo, I'm not gonna even much lie. Like, when I find these recipes on TikTok and they come out right, y'all just don't know how good that make me feel. I did follow directions to the T. The only thing that I'm trying to debate on right now, y'all, I need y'all to comment down and help me really quickly. I don't know, like, you know that this is the size of the icing that comes with the cinnamon rolls. The only thing I'm trying to figure out is if I need to make a little bit more icing, or do y'all think that this will be enough? Comment down below. Because I know like once you normally ice it, it don't be enough. And I think that I'm thinking about making some more icing. Hold up, y'all. Comment down below if y'all hate when your cinnamon rolls just do not have enough icing. So while my cinnamon rolls are getting nice and brown, I'm going to go ahead on and make me some extra icing. Because if I don't have enough icing, I would be so upset, okay? This is how I make my super simple icing. All I do is add some powdered sugar into a bowl just like this. It doesn't matter how much. Normally, I, I always make too much, but that's perfectly fine because powdered sugar is super cheap. And then you're going to take some heavy whipping cream. It come out way better with the heavy whipping cream. Watch this. I feel like regular milk just makes it entirely too, too loose. Entirely too loose. And I do not like... It when it's too too watery like that and you see y'all that's the only thing that i do and this is how you make homemade icing like when you don't have when you make making french toast when you don't have enough icing for your cinnamon rolls this is my secret y'all of how i make some extra icing go ahead on and mix that up really really good and then i'm going to take my icing right here and i'm gonna microwave it for a little bit and then mix it i'm just gonna add in my pumpkin slice just like this it smell like a oh that pumpkin spice is strong and i'm just gonna mix it up just like this so my icing could get that pumpkin spice flavor and that's all i do y'all set this to the side look how cute y'all oh my god I'm gonna lift it up a little bit and then I'm gonna cut and pull just like that. Now it's gonna take some time to get each one of these off, y'all. But just take your time 
and lift up the string just a little bit and then cut just like that. definitely got out of my comfort zone with this one with the pumpkin spice but we about to start icing it up our cinnamon rolls because i do not like cold cinnamon rolls i like to eat my cinnamon rolls when they are nice and hot and fresh out the oven so i'm gonna take and start adding my icing just like oh this is so cute how excited i am behind these pumpkin cinnamon rolls wow this is so cute now i do have some cinnamon sticks y'all and you're gonna let me show y'all what you're gonna do with the cinnamon stick so take this off thing do not play with me right now ah! y'all comment down below if y'all hate when this little tab thing when you're trying to pull it and this little tab thing break off oh my god that's that drove so now we have five so i'm gonna take one oh my god this is so exciting wow tiktok is just freaking phenomenal like wow that's all i can say y'all is wow then i'm just gonna need two more why this kind of look like a blunt to me all right all right shiny you getting off topic all right see y'all i just be see y'all gotta comment down below and help you girl some time because i be just saying some things that i should not be saying oh my god y'all look wow i am super excited to try this y'all and i'm so glad that i got out of my comfort zone today and try me some little pumpkin spice stuff y'all but i'm about to go ahead on and play on my stuff for my cinnamon rolls my egg you know eggs get cold super fast let me go play my stuff up so now y'all i'm gonna hurry up and whip me up a pumpkin spice coffee <laughs> y'all i love to have my coffee in the morning but this is gonna be my very first time trying pumpkin spice i told y'all i'm Stepping out my comfort zone. Stop playing with me, okay? I really think that I am the only girl in the world that don't like sugar in her coffee. Even though it says sugar free, it's still sweet as hell. So I don't. I think y'all comment down below if I'm the only one that don't like sugar in my coffee. Wow, this hot pumpkin spice. Y'all, I'm going to finally go ahead on and taste my breakfast. Y'all, it smells so good. I wish y'all could smell this through the phone. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all hear it? Mmm. 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 Wow. Mmm. 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 Y'all, bacon is so freaking good. I want y'all to comment down below and let me know if y'all like bacon. Mm. Wow. Girl, when people say stuff come with age, it come with age, Jesus. Because this pump for spice ain't no hope. And I'm going to go ahead on and try my little Oh, it's so cute. I don't even want to bite it. local grocery store i'm not sure if everybody got it but i got my pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls right from my local walmart y'all make sure y'all like comment and subscribe if y'all like this video guys i had so much fun and i think it's so interesting when you're trying something new and you really don't know what to expect like ah that one was this video was super fire y'all make sure y'all don't forget make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video y'all peace